back and I'm back again with another video and so today's video is just gonna be like a video of me talking while I go through my day of school with my classes and just telling you guys a little bit more about things that I'm going through and how I'm going to try and get through it which I will and so yeah just hang in there stick with me and we'll do this so I'm leaving the house now and out I go I'm gonna pick up some breakfast down at the DC which is the dining commas and I'm gonna just grab a banana because I don't want anything too heavy there's a banana and water and call it a day so yeah but today are my um today is my like really like tough days Mondays and Wednesdays because I have three classes for like three hours and then like I have like this little intermediate break where it's short one hour and my classes are like far and so um um I just um I have my political science class early this morning and then after that I have an hour break and so I walk all the way back to the dorms and then after that I sit for about like 30 minutes and then I have to go back out again to my statistics class my lecture and then after that I have an hour in between again and then so I come back home and I sit again then I gotta go back out all the way to the back which is like the music building and so yeah we call that the DC DC baby <laughs> it's cold out here when it's cold outside pushing my way on out yeah. so I'm just back there so y'all might not be able to see me but it's okay I think we got a little something going on but yeah this is so bad like I'm not gonna talk to y'all like this like that <laughs> we better be like okay maybe we can go like this but so yeah um I thought I would manage to like make this video and like talk to y'all but i think i might have to just like do it when i'm walking back okay that's better so um what i'm saying is that today i decided to make this video on my tough days um i'm trying to be cool you know early in the morning when i wake up and just be like positive about things but it's kind of hard it's ice on the ground but like i'm saying it's a bit hard because it must be early hold on i need to check the time Momento. so it's only 9.05 class at 9.30 but um this is bad y'all like i hope y'all can see me but um yeah these today is my tough day and so i get up in the morning and i just you know try to have a growth mindset instead of a fixed mindset and just push through the day because yeah and you know but so let me tell you so last semester i had a 3.5 gpa 
and whatnot. I'm gonna start walking like this. So I wish I could just, you know. Anyways, I'm just rambling. But um, last semester, I had gotten a 3.5 GPA and um, this semester, it's tough, you know? And I'm taking like a lot of classes where I have to do a lot of reading. And I'm biased on a lot of things that we have to do in a particular class. I'm not gonna say, but I'm just biased on it. And so it's kind of like, okay, what's the point of taking in this class? And so um, we gonna talk about that when I come back, because obviously, yeah. it's, um, it's not by me. Oh, see, this is a building that they supposedly making. I don't know what they're doing. But I'm just gonna take my time and walk to class. As you can see, uh, I came from there, the dorms, and now I'm in the middle. And I'm gliding. So that there is called the, um, the pod. That there is the pod. And, uh, uh, yeah, pizza, subway, uh, panda, Taco Bell, whatever you like. There, my friend, is the bookstore. And so, don't get your books from there. But get your books from there. <laughs> no, for real, don't. <laughs> Shoot, they give you money. But they got a lot of free stuff up in here, so. You know? But yeah. And then... Say hello to my YouTube channel. This is a YouTube channel? Yes. Say hello, Andrew. Hello, Andrew. <laughs> Great morning. You're cold. Andrew's Always, really never, cold maybe a little. It's hard to keep track these days. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Just go like this. And then I'll let you know if it's cold. Do you see smoke? It's <laughs> not smoke. It's condensation, oh. but... Okay, condensation. If you were blowing that. smoke, then you'd have a different set of problems. Okay, condensation is it? I think it's condensation. Never cut track these days. Okay. <laughs> it's so cold today. Okay, bye, Andrew. Say bye, Andrew. Bye, Andrew. That was my good old friend, Andrew. He's walking to Robinson Hall, he said. Good day. <laughs> This is where my old class used to be. I had a freaking history class. Hate it. <laughs> Y'all learning a little bit about my body. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, I just got out of class and. I'm trying to evaluate myself and understand why I'm having bad days on these days. I look, I look crazy, but I've just found out and now I know why. It's because I don't know what's going on. Like, it's like they're speaking another language and with that, it's kind of hard to like, you really understand what's going on if you don't know what they say. To me, and because I'm biased about like the topic in general, now that I found out, it's hard. And I don't like it. So, who knows? I don't know. Um, I just gotta do something about it. Because 
Honestly, I ain't feeling it. Like, I just found out I can retake the quizzes. So I'm like, okay, thank you, Jesus. Hi, boo. And that was Danny Boo. And, um, yeah, so I'm trying to be good. Like, we're going to have a good day today. Do I really believe that? No, but, um, we're going to have a good day. And I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. I'm really trying. But this semester is just trying to kick my butt. Like, God dang. Like, for real, for real. And so, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to be good, though. I always got to be good. Can't be bad. But yeah, y'all. So now I'm on my way back to the dorms because I had like an hour break. And so I got to go print my papers. got to go print my essay out because I just have to write a three, five, um, three, four page essay on technologies with um the millennials and i feel good about it it was a summary analysis essay not so much of an argumentative essay and um yeah i think i'm feeling cool about it you know you know yeah and so welcome back and just doing the day thing. Uh, yeah. I don't usually go here. But it's all good. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Day to day. I go by day to day every day. And just be cool with it. What's up? Oh, we recorded. Oh, it's a vlog. Hold on, you know him, right? Hold on. So you know, we just walking back from class. You know, got a great education. Hey, smash your kill. Which one you doing? What are you doing? This is another topic. That last. She's a god fearing. I understand that completely. Child of God. We have another debate on our YouTube channel. Smash your kill. What would you do? Kill me or smash him? Oh, I gotta go. Y'all have a blessed day today. Thank you. I tried. Right. But yeah, so <sighs> I'm just going on about my day, cooling it, and you know, I have meetings because you guys know I am president and area council of Building Sequoia. Yes, that's me. So we're planning this um, multicultural event for freshmen only. Yes, and um that then I have this essay which gets longer because it becomes a five six to seven page or five to seven page something like that essay and you know I was in AP in high school but we wasn't doing all of that like I mean we was learning how to write an essay within 30 minutes but like you know we wasn't doing all of that so baby <laughs> okay but you know we go we go get this we go get this but so now i gotta go print out my papers and so to tell y'all like i'm having me a good day i am a good day <sighs> reason why my tuesdays and thursdays classes are much easier is because I only have basically one class on Tuesdays, really two, but it's a hybrid class where it's online, the other part is in class. So Thursday, today, well, that's not today. Today's Wednesday. Y'all see? Tomorrow, I'll have two classes. And so, yeah, that's, that's a little bit about me. And my mom, like gave me a word from God and she told me that he told her that this year is going to be one of my toughest years and she wanted to say semester but this would be one of my toughest years and God told her that she 
prophesied to me and told me basically like he said be steadfast movable and unshakable but this is gonna be one of my toughest shoes and y'all I'm like this positive person I'm always speaking and I'm I'm good like I'll be good but this year just been whooping me like you know everybody has their days and I have my days and you know last year it's like I know how to get through things I'll be motivating others like still while doing it. but this year this year told me mm -mm. and so I'm just like okay what we doing God <laughs> What we doing today? We, do, we, we, we doing something, right? Something got to give. So she told me that. He said, like, basically, if I can get through this, what's on the other side is greater. And so if I could just be steadfast, immovable, and unshakable, then everything would be good. Like, I'm good. Like, you know? And so... I'm just, I'm just going to trust in him, trust in his word, and, you know, lean not on my own understanding, but know that he is, and so, <laughs> grab rising, that's Keziah. And my girl there. But um she put a boo baby. She hugging a boo baby. <laughs> boo baby. <laughs> but um so yeah, that's just a little bit and um I'm going and I'm gonna keep on pressing. Like the song says, press toward the mark. And I'm gonna keep moving forward. I'm not gonna let the devil try to put me down and get me down in this life because no my God is too powerful mighty and awesome for me to be this person who who's down and out but it's alright hey boo and so we gonna, we, gonna, we gonna figure it out like we got to like we come too far too far and so i'm back at the dorms now as you can see i don't know the time how long it kind of like takes but yeah y'all oh yeah that's what i'm supposed to be doing see mine go supposed to be going to go print this paper they having a little board meeting right now so yeah y'all i'll be back well, I'm going to show y'all here. They have an enemy. They got it all. crap so I thought by yesterday I would print my pages and it'll be on my account but coming to find out it's not even on my account so now I gotta go back up to the room to print this stuff then come back down so I can print this stuff like it be little stuff y'all just little stuff that just try to get to be but we ain't gonna we ain't, we ain't gonna let it do we ain't gonna let you because God is greater so I'm now here on the move, on the go, as always. And wait for the elevator for me. Yeah, that's right. Y'all see it? So I have to come here and... Print, look for an essay between times. Print, workshop and critical thinking time. 
Y'all, they didn't just text me talking about come pick up your check. I have to do oh, what check is you talking about? But uh, good water, Mario. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We ain't even gonna ask no questions. <laughs> we just gonna go and do what do as told. But they say come pick up your checks ASAP. Okay. Y'all, y'all see how this? I'm just. Chica ain't here, but hey, hey. I wonder where my cheek boo at. Y'all, cheek make me happy. Cheek make me happy inside and out. Hey, <laughs> Not embarrassed. <laughs> out here my hair looks crazy like I just try to be cool you like this what we do this what we do do the little doggy little doggy but yes this is this is this is EB EB and they're having a meeting and they're looking at me. Yes, I'm looking. See, this one is supposed to look like. I don't stay over here. Stop fires. I don't know the two of those buildings, but yeah, just a little bit. And go ahead. Here's it. Here I see it. Ooh, gee. Sonora? All right, so we got that done. Now we about to go pick up this check. Or see if we could pick up the check like let's see <sighs> Tuesdays and Thursdays my classes is in Mega John so I'll be in because housing is right there oh, oh. come on right here down down here cool I work for student orientation team leader. Also, I work for the accessibility training services, testing services. And yeah, that's what they doing out here. Well, like Greek life and stuff. And yeah. Hey, y'all don't know how good my God is. Let me tell y'all something. I can't really. Y'all just don't know. God. Oh, I got to go give him a hand. Praise. I need to go sit down somewhere, y'all. I cannot say, but God is just, y'all don't know. Like, God has been good to me. And, you know, he's just been good to me. And I just love the love that he, he gets. And um, I ain't going to cry. I can't cry. I can't be doing all that crying. <laughs> a fuck looking. <laughs> like, what is this girl doing? But, y'all, I just I can't say, but I got something to tell y'all. God, God is really real. And if you let him be real, he will be so real. Like, God is anything he can be anything that you believe him to be and it can be the most smallest thing it's like little stupid stuff like it's me i play with it like 
I'll be like, God, send a bird to fly across me if you really with me. Like, little stuff. Like, and he'll do it. Like, he's, he's what you believe him to be. Like, he can be all that. Like, he's not a God that's in a box. And so, hi, boo-boo. And so, y'all, I'm just, I'm great, grateful, as the song says. Grateful for the things that you have done. Yes, I am grateful for the victories. Yeah, y'all know the song. I could go on and on and on about your word. Because I'm grateful, so grateful, grateful that. Okay, turn up. Okay, but y'all, y'all, God is good. Like, God is good. Like, I just feel like breaking down crying because y'all don't know. Like, I've been having it tough this semester and like the first week of school I got back and it was like God was preparing me when I was at home for a break and he was just telling me like um he was just telling me like how I needed to have faith and change my mindset of the way of how I think and and he was just telling me he he gave me these three things he said have faith do not be easily angered and watch your tongue. And I'm telling y'all this because I had a dream. And I feel as though God speaks to me in my dreams. And this dream was like real spiritual. And it had to do with of warfare, spiritual warfare and things. And, and um, I don't even know how I got to the point where I needed to read Luke. And... I was lagging on it, knowing that I needed to read it. And me and my friend Chica, we had just got back from coming from the DC. And we came right up in here and a paper was right here of a whole bunch of scriptures, like literally y'all. And at the end, it said, make sure you read Luke. And I had to take a picture of it because I was like, and it was like, it was talking to me. And so, um, and so, and so basically, Luke was talking about how, I think it's Luke, I think it's Luke. But it was talking about how you need to watch your tongue. And it was talking about how we praise God with our tongue, but then we can still, go out and cut somebody out not literally but just trying to give you like an example like of what it was talking about it was talking about how not to be easily angered and then it talked about um having faith and you can say you have faith but if you're not actually putting those actions to works you know faith without works is dead like they say and so, y'all, I'm hot now because y'all don't know what just happened. And, um, um, yeah, so he been giving me revelation and things that I need to do. And, and so I've been having a really hard time remembering these things, just trying to go. I've been having a hard time, like, trying to read my Bible. I've just been having a hard time because these classes just got me so much. You have to read this, read this. Like, if I show y'all my readings, I have, like, like three chapters, whole chapters, like, in one reading, in one setting of a reading. And then I have to write down notes, jot down notes, take notes, and then come to class. At the end of class, every day, we take a quiz. And so I just been like really emotional because it's been hard and I'm not a student who really, you know, who gets C's and D's and F. I don't, that's not me. That's never been me going through high school. And so this year just been tough, like real tough. And 
I'm like kind of like I would say a motivational speaker to people who who's just around me. Like, I don't even have to know you. I'm going to tell you like, hey, how's your day going? Like, let you know, you're like, keep pushing, keep pushing. And lately, the, the, like the devil been trying to steal that from me where I'm so down and out and so caught up in my head that I can't even give somebody else a word. I can't even make somebody else feel better because I'm so caught up on what I'm going through, my situation, my emotions. And it's just like being stolen. And I'm here to say, no, no, the devil, we're not doing none of that. So I have to keep on being me, knowing that I'm going through, but keeping my smile on my face and just going on about my day and letting people know like, hey, you can do this. Life is not too hard. And so, y'all, I'm just so like, I'm so, I'm overly emotional right now because what God told my mom and it's like, he said, this is going to be one of the toughest years. And so, and it's like, it's my first year, you know, like second semester going into my second year, sophomore year in. And it's like, he blessing me, but yet I'm still going through and the devil's trying to like keep me caught up on the, th the bad things. And it's like, I can't even enjoy like the blessings that he's blessing me with because I'm so caught up on these classes and just set things that are going on with self. So I'm just, I'm trying y'all, I'm trying and I'm going to get through this. This is, this ain't going, y'all going to see it. Y'all going to have best believe because he put me here for a reason. If y'all know my story, I thought I was going to Howard University, baby. Nobody can tell me nothing. And that was that. And it was this East Bay um, little banner thingy in my brother's room. And I was probably like 15. So I was sophomore in high school. And it was like this banner on the wall. I have a picture of it as well. And it was East Bay. And I used to look at that thing. And I, my brother didn't even go to that school. My brother went to Northbridge. And so, you know, East Bay. And I know I used to look at it, but hey, I was going to Howard, baby. And not knowing that, oh, this is the school that you're going to be at. So when I saw like, okay, I'm going to East Bay, I told God, let me know if this is the school for me. Like I said, show love. And I went, I came up here six hours away from home and we drove and when I first thing I got on campus, people were speaking, hello, hi, hello, and it's a lady named, or a PR named Marguerite, she, her voice exuded love, and so I was like, okay, this is the school, and then we went over to San Fran, there was another school I got accepted to, and I was thinking about going, and it was dead over there, like gloomy, like heck gloomy, and it was just dead, and so I was like, okay, East Bay is it. Then I prayed like on my whole like housing situation and I told God, I said, Lord, I don't want to be there if you're not going to be there. Like I won't go. Like that was my whole thing. And I prayed over like my room situation. I told him, I said, I knew exactly what I wanted from when I came here from for a welcome day. And I told God, I want the side with the window. And I, I told him exactly, y'all. I told him my, my thing is, um... I think it's whatever it's H and something. The letters on this G and H. I wanted this. Like this exact thing. G and H because I knew the side that it was on. Because if you have I and J, it's on a different side. But I knew I wanted, you know, this exact room. I you know, I said I was like, this here be a crazy guy if he give me the view and I'm just laughing, joking. And so when I'm going searching in to put in the bin, I don't know nothing about how housing section work. I don't know nothing. I don't know what building, you know, barely got an idea. And I was like, God, I'm going to just lean on you. I'm going to just, you know, let you do it. And so with that, I was going and I was like, this is the room. Like, I just had a feeling. I was like, this is the room. And my mama was going like, mm, it's, it was so many, y'all, like so many, like things that was open. Like, because I, I was one of the... Um, first first something you know um what did you call it i don't know anyways but yeah priority little thing thingy 
And so my mom was like, it's so many other other ones, Kayla, like look at something else. And I was like, no mama, this is the one. And I think it was GNH, like house and GNH door that I wanted, bedroom that I wanted. And I didn't know where my room was because we got one, two, three, four floors. Didn't know. And then when I got here early in the morning, like five o'clock in the morning, and I asked that lady, I said, do you, do you know like what this mean, what the numbers mean? And my thing is 942 and she like, oh, you're on the fourth floor building Sequoia. So I'm like, okay, all right, cool. Then when I got up here, y'all see in my previous video, y'all was so amazed because God really like, he gave me the view and I have a thing for like, sky views the sky like that's just something that i have like I me mean, my like dream is to be in like in some type of condo with like whole like glass just window and i get to see the view like that's just something that i love and so when i got here it may be small to people and others it may be big but hey it's it's what i got for right now and so with this i'm just like god like you real dope like you like i couldn't even more just couldn't even describe how i was feeling i was overwhelmed with so so much emotions because I'm like, man, this man is really, like, evident in my life, y'all. And it's just, y'all, it's just, I mean, I mean, I have, like, this little story to tell about how my relationship with God is and, like, little things that I go through to be able to give back to people, like, hey, you can get through this. And so I'm just, like, I'm just thankful, y'all, and God, like, let me have my own room for, like, two months, but... I don't think I was doing the right thing to be able to have my own room because, yeah, Chica insider. <laughs> but, um, and then I ended up praying on my roommate. I always prayed on my roommate and people wanted to room with me. But I told them, I said, no, I'll just, I'm just let God do it. People want, I didn't want to go and messing with the thing. So I'm just like, I'm going to just let God um do it. And ended up getting a legit roommate, which is Diamond in. She really did because everything works. Like, me and her, we work together. You know, sometimes we may have our, like, own little nip. But at the end of the day, it works. Like, we both like the same temperature in the room. Like, not hot, not too cold. Like, we we just work with the light on. Like, I know if she going to sleep, I'm going to either get out the room or stay quiet. When I'm going to sleep, she either leave the room or stay quiet. Like, we have this, like, little balance of things. So, it's just, I'm just here to tell y'all, like, God is really real, y'all. Like, so real. Because in life, you know, it's a lot going on. And you might have a lot of questions like, well, why is this and this? But everything makes sense. Like, literally, what time is it? Everything makes sense. I don't even know. When is my next class? Like. No, hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all, my next class is at 12.30. It's 11.37. Okay, I got a little time. But yes, um, like I was saying, everything makes sense. Like, everything, like, even when it don't make sense, it makes sense in some type of formal way. Like, it's like God give me these little, like, England of things, and I'm just like, okay, I'm going to go on this. Like, and I just go on that. And God told my mom to not worry about my major. Y'all know my major is political science, and... Like, literally, I've been going through it because I don't know what I want to do. Like, literally, like, it's like I have these qualities of these things, but I just don't know how to form it into a major, you know? And God told my mom, like, don't even worry about your major. He said, basically, focus on those classes that you have and ace those classes, basically, but don't worry about your major because... I don't know what's going to happen, but I trust in God. I believe that he is, and so I'm just going to have to go on that. And, yeah, y'all, y'all don't know. I'm just, y'all see how, y'all see how my days, y'all, y'all, y'all get a little bit. I'll, I'll be here one moment, then the next moment I'm here, then I'm here, then I'm here. But he said, be steadfast, unmovable. <laughs> unshakable is immovable but unshakable and meaning don't waver like oh uh, see y'all i just said i'll be one moment i'll be over here and in the next moment i'll be over here. but i have to be steadfast movable and unshakable i can't be moved i have to stick to what it is and just go because it's gonna be some stuff y'all and i already know what and i ain't nothing too hard for my guy you feel me like I'm none. So, yeah, y'all, I'm getting a little sick.
No, I'm not speaking that. No, I'm not. I just got a runny nose right now. And I need to go blow my nose because it's cold out there. Y'all like cold, cold. And I be having gloves on and all that. Ass. But you know. You. You know. <laughs> no, girl. But so, yeah. So, that's a little bit of today. But I got to go give God some handbrakes. Because um, the way. <laughs> Bye. So, this video is going to be heck along. I'm on my way to my stats lab class and hey Nikki. Yes. <laughs> and yeah. Kizzy say B S C right there. Oh my girl. It's exactly that. Oh, she on the phone with Blue Baby. Say hello to YouTube. Oh, Stats. Stats, um, lecture, preferably. Stats lecture here. Experience. And it's old. Right. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so I'm going to try her link in front of her face. <laughs> oh, you still got to ask her about that stuff. Huh? Another name for that, it's pie chart. Okay. So I decided to take the stop at Einstein's yeah. yeah. Let him say it. They gonna make me late to class. Wesley's on us down here. Hmm. Oh, see the police right there just standing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm like, you would have oh, been gone. That. Like, you would have been gone. I, feel, I wish everybody was more about their day. They letting him be an audience. <laughs> Go back! <laughs> we do not need you. <laughs> so y'all, I got my last class of the day. And that's my English class. And I really don't have to go to it. I just got to turn in my essay basically. But that's it for today. So y'all know a little bit about how my day was going. Man. Crazy man. But he ain't crazy. I guess he's just protesting with his beliefs and calling it as that. But yeah, so I'll see y'all a little bit later. And... Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and tune in to the next video, whatever that'll be, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.